Welcome back, Woodlovers. Today is Thursday. Today I got the day right. Don't even need to check. Now, today, yesterday rather, I, uh, I made two false claims. First of all, I said that today was going to be episode 40. Yesterday was episode 40. I also said that I was going to do Brazilian Rosewood today. That was, that was an unfortunate lie. I, my, my intention was to do Rosewood. <clears throat> but then, oh God, Postman Pat <clears throat> brought me 16.9 kilos of wood. This is a package from Robert Smith at Timberline, who I've been buying from for, I bought my very first set of guitar wood from him uh, a number of years ago now, and uh, I'm still buying from him today because the wood is good and his service is excellent and he's a very knowledgeable dude. We've refilled the wood coffers as if they needed any more restocking. But I thought, you know, as this is here, I can't contain my inside, I can't, ex I can't, ex I, I lose the ability to talk when I'm excited. I can't contain my excitement until tomorrow to open this and I wanted to share the opening with you so you could see what we've got. And um, Brazilian Rosewood, you will just have to wait. So I'm gonna, try and get into this whilst also talking to you and whilst trying not to uh, spill the contents everywhere and without also giving myself a hernia. Aha! Oh, Getting there. It smells amazing. It's like a tonewood rainbow. A tone bow. That's from Chris, who works at Timberline. Whew, all right. So we have a number of sets here and uh, they're all for you. Well, they're for me, but they're for, for you. Sharing, we'll share them. Okay, first up, because alarmingly I didn't have any. Um, is some really nice, yeah, some really lovely old stock Indian rosewood and uh, the classic. This is, uh, this is wood that every luthier should have worked with at least once. Usually it's the first wood that a luthier builds with. It's, yeah, it's got that. So, dis such a distinctive smell to it. I've not thought this through. This is a brand new wood for me. Another fruit wood. This is some steamed figured pear, which is uh, very lovely. I'm really into the color of that. I bet that's gonna be very beautiful. You can already see that paired with a redwood top. Let's give it a little tap, actually. You know what, let's tap all of these. Or do we save it? Should I, should I save it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna tap the rosewood and, and, and I'm gonna save the, uh, the more unusual stuff. Nice set of, man, that is very rich smelling. Nice set of Indian rosewood. Next up is some coyote. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Wow, that is gorgeous. And uh, I will dive into the scientific name in a, a subsequent episode. That is really, really nice. I love that. It's kind of reminiscent of something like, um, of something like Pau this is some rather lovely, very subtly figured rippled myrtle. I believe this comes from Oregon. Very nice. So this is, I don't know what this is. Oh, this is Boare. I think this is cool too. A bit cupped there, but that'll straighten out. 
Nice and simple, really beautiful straight grained, nice color. Again, it's got, it's got a feel of kind of power ferro to it. That is cool, I like that. Hello. See, this is why it's good to try stuff. I would never have bought that had it not been for the baying angry mob in the comments wanting more tone words. Just kidding. Ha <laughs> ha, okay. Wait, I'm so confused. No, I'm not confused. Wait, am I confused? No, I'm not. This is Babinga. And uh, you've been asking for Babinga for bloody ages. And now you've got some, okay? How are you happy now? And this is a nice set. Heavy, Babinga. Really beautiful straight grain. What else we got here? Yeah. My, one of my favorites. I think it is my favorite, you know. Madagascar Rosewood. I couldn't help myself. I bought another set of Rosewood. You can just hear it already. Look at that, that's really nice. And lovely simple set of Rosewood. Just love Maddie. It's so nice and really difficult, difficult to get hold of. <laughs> that is a killer set of wood. The highs are amazing. Oh my days. That is special. Yeah. All right, this is, this is cool. I've been excited about this. I haven't had a set of this before and I haven't handled any since my apprenticeship. Dalberger Sprutiana, Amazon Rosewood. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save that. Well, I'm gonna tap it right now, but I'm gonna edit it out and you, you guys are gonna have to wait. Sorry. And finally, a, another set of Amazon Rosewood Dalberger Spruciana. Next door neighbors to Dalberger Negra. Isn't that nice? Yeah, I'm loving this. We've got like a real peachy vibe. It's funny, you know, this, this template is drawn to, to completely cut out the sapwood. Back in, I guess, folks didn't used to like the sapwood and now everyone's all about the sapwood. They love it, can't get enough sap. I will definitely include a little, little sliver of sapwood there. Beautiful. Oh man, today's a good day. The woods are all lovely. Thank you, Chris, for packing this up for me and for my little note. And thank you to Robert for supplying really good, really good wood. Tote some A's balls. I'm gonna, well, there's my afternoon wiped off because I'm just gonna be sticking these and gazing at them and tapping them and uh, salivating over the Madagascar rosewood like an old pervert. My apologies that we're not doing Brazilian today. We'll do it at some point. Maybe we'll do Brazilian in episode 50 because we've got some, some woods to get through here. And uh, hopefully you've enjoyed watching me struggle with this uh, Tonewood Russian doll. I'm really excited. This has really lifted me today. I hope it's uplifted you as well today. And um, happy, I forget what day it is again now. Thursday. I need to, maybe I should get one of those things, you know, diary. See you tomorrow.